Hey y'all, Bill be here. Y'all, my puppy got groomed today. Look how cute she is. You got a damn hair bow in. The puppy with a damn hair bow. Hey y'all, be over here. You like my braid? It looked a lot cuter earlier today, I promise you that. All right y'all, I got a little bit of a story for you here tonight. Now back when I was a little bitty kid, uh, my mommy and daddy, they was making their living doing construction work on folks' houses. And they didn't have a whole lot, but they was making the best out of what they got. And this one time, they hired this man, and his name was Fat Larry. And I don't really know why exactly his name was Fat Larry, because it's like he was a larger gentleman, but not so much so that uh, you'd expect him to need an adjective like that uh, in front of his name. But that's neither here nor there. His name was Fat Larry, and that's the honest to God's truth. And now we'll move on. All right, so his name was Fat Larry, and he was a, a terrible employee, that's for damn sure. And he about drove my mommy and daddy up a wall. He used to drive a dump truck for him going around to folks' houses when they was fixing their roof, and he'd take a dump truck around to pick up all the debris up off the floor. Now, it ain't a terribly difficult job to drive a dump truck, but the thing was, is Fat Larry, well, he couldn't read. And you might think, well, you don't really need to read to drive a dump truck, and that's where you're wrong, because this is back in the days before the old GPS. And Fat Larry, he couldn't read like a map or like a road sign. And so he'd call my mommy over at the office on his cell phone. to start spelling out the names of roads that he's passing when he'd be lost in the city. And he'd be like, all right, here I am going by T-E-L. Oh, damn it, I passed it, he'd say. And then he'd drive by to the next cross street. And my mommy, she's on the phone trying to look at a map back at the office. A while she'd be about ready to lose her damn mind because she's trying to help this crazy man navigate through the city who won't pull over the damn dump truck long enough to read a street sign. All right, so that's a little bit of a backstory of the kind of uh, employee that Fat Larry was. Now we're going to move on to the meat and potatoes. So this one time, Fat Larry, he's driving a dump truck and he had it down there at the job that they were working on. And, well, he decided that it'd be a beautiful day to pick him up a hooker down there in the company truck. And so he did. So she hopped in the dump truck there and, uh, well, I'm just gonna tell y'all folks plain as day, she performed fellatio, okay? There, I said it. All right, now some of y'all folks out there might be saying, okay, yeah, good for you, Fat Larry. Well, that's where you're wrong because, y'all, turns out that prostitute was not an honest woman after all. And she stole Fat Larry's company cell phone and his wallet. All right, so he comes back to the office and he's got to tell my mommy and daddy what happened uh, because he lost their cell phone. Obviously, my daddy tells him to get out and that he's fired and... Fat Larry seemed confused by this. So my daddy, being a good and honest man, he explains to Fat Larry about how he can't be participating in this activity company time and in a company vehicle. And so anyways, uh, he tells Fat Larry to leave. So Fat Larry, he ain't leaving. So my daddy, he ain't no sissy of a man. Let me tell you that. So he escorts Fat Larry back to his truck. And he's chatting with him through the window. And Fat Larry, he wants his pay for the day. And my daddy tells him, Fat Larry, I ain't paying you. You lost my cell phone. And you put my company in danger of losing this here truck by picking up a hooker. They go back and forth about this. And my daddy just tells him, listen, Fat Larry, you ain't getting paid until you give me my cell phone back. Because you owe me for that cell phone that that prostitute stole. Well, Fat Larry, y'all, he gets pissed. And he just guesses it with my daddy hanging on the side of the truck with his head like half through the window like that. Now Fat Larry, he's taking off down the road with my daddy hanging on the side of his little pickup truck there. Now y'all, as my daddy tells it, that little Chevy pickup truck went from about zero to 45 miles an hour in about two seconds flat. So my little angel of a daddy didn't have time to let go of that there pickup truck before Fat Larry, he starts speeding towards the main street there in the center of town. My daddy had no choice, y'all. He had to let go of the side of Fat Larry's truck. And he did a classic uh, tuck and roll, 
along the pavement. He did about uh, four or five rows, and he got road burn all along his knees. But y'all, what he was most upset about was he had just got some brand new white Nike tennis shoes, and he hit that pavement going so damn fast that it just it ate those laces right off the top of his shoes. All right, so Fat Larry just saw my daddy hit the pavement through his rear view mirror. What's he do? Slams on the brakes. He pops right back up on his feet because, like I already told you, he ain't no sissy of a man. The rest of the employees, they're back there in the back of the office. They all see what happened. They're looking around like, what in the hell? This is some kind of a crazy institution. Daddy, he waves his hands to Fat Larry like this. Hey, Larry. Come on back, son. Come on. It's all right. It's okay. Come on, Larry. Look it. I'm okay. It's all right, buddy. You're right. You need the money. You need to get paid. Come on. I'm going to pay you, Larry. Okay? I'm going to pay you. Fat Larry, God bless him, that dumb sack of shit. He drives right back to my daddy. So my daddy, he walks into the office and he tells my mommy, cut Fat Larry a check. We're writing him a check. She says, we ain't writing him no check. He's a pervert. So my daddy gets a check and he walks it back out to Larry. Larry rolls his window down. And I bet y'all can guess what my daddy did, can't you? Can you guess it? Yo, my daddy socked that lunatic in the nose so damn hard and he about hit him in the next week. <laughs> and being the decent, wonderful man that my daddy is, he threw that check at him and paid him his fair share even though he didn't have it coming. And y'all, that's it. That's the story of the time that my daddy melted his brand new Nike tennis shoes. Hey y'all, it's Bellevue again. I'm getting some snaps on here of y'all having some questions wanting to know if these is true stories. And y'all, the answer is yes. Every Bellevue story I've ever told you has been the honest to God's truth. Big Patty Routan, yes, that happened to me. Uh, Bub, running from the cops in the center of town. That was another one about my blessed daddy. And, uh, Jimbo, the horny hospital patient, once again happened to me. And finally, this one here about my daddy and Fat Larry. It's 100% true. Y'all, I couldn't make it shit up. It's too weird.